Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create subtitles using DaVinci Resolve Studio. Let's jump right in. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and I've now finished my project. Um, so now we just want to add some subtitles over our portrait style video. So the first thing we'll want to do is basically highlight the spoken dialogue we've got on this track here. So it's the green track. Uh, so first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. So with that held down, uh, we're just going to click and hold the mouse to highlight this uh, this dialogue here. Uh, so once all our dialogue there is highlighted, we just want to right click uh, and we'll have an option just here at the top, new compound clip. So if we give that a click, uh, you know, we can name that whatever, uh, let's call it uh, subtitle audio. So basically this is uh, kind of condensed all those uh, separate clips all into one now. Um, so now we've got this kind of merged audio track uh, we'll want to then head up to the timeline option here at the top. Uh, then we have an option just here, create subtitles from audio. So we give that a click um, and it'll take us to this kind of screen here. So usually for portrait style videos, I tend to go with around 22 characters per line. So everything fits quite nicely. If you're doing a landscape style video, then you might be able to get away with something around 40 characters per line. So since we've got this portrait style video, I'll just go ahead and put 22 into there. Uh, then we'll just press the create button here. So we'll just give that a moment. So now that's finished, we can see that the subtitles have been created on a separate track here at the top. Uh, feel free to kind of give yourself a bit more space, just dragging the, uh, the bars down here. Um, and we can see, I mean, it's quite hard to see because the subtitles are currently uh, in white, but they are there. And what it's done, it's basically just created the subtitles straight from this uh, merged audio clip. So as I say, they're a little tricky to see at the minute. So we can further customize these, uh, you know, to make sure they're nice and visible on screen. So what we can do, uh, if we just click any of the kind of beige blocks that have been created, which are our subtitles, uh, we can give one of them a click. Then at the top right here, we have some uh, different options. So we have the singular caption option, uh, and this will basically allow us to adjust words. So let's say the artificial intelligence hasn't quite uh, translated the subtitle. Uh, you know, we can always adjust things in these uh, singular boxes on the caption side. But if we want to adjust say the whole track. So this will kind of adjust the, the, all the subtitles within the video. We can give that a click uh, and we'll get some options here uh, where we can basically customize these further. So, you know, we've got some font options here. So, you know, we've got a wide range within DaVinci Resolve. Uh, feel free to kind of flick through those. And as we go through those, we can actually see on the video viewer itself, uh, you know, like a preview of the subtitles. So I'll go with, let's go with Rubik. Um, so, you know, we've got our font there, then, you know, we've got font face as well, so we can make it a bit bigger, uh, extra bold, black bold, whatever you want. So I'll just click the black option, um, and I will keep the subtitle itself white, but we do, of course, have the option to change these as well, as we can see. Uh, the subtitles uh, adjust, and as I say, when we're doing this track mode, it won't just be that singular subtitle, you know, it's going to be all the subtitles uh, within the video. Um, but as I say, I'll go with the just a nice neutral white colour like that. But if we want to make these stand out a little bit, so obviously if we've got a lot of white in our video, they're going to clash a little. So to kind of combat that, we have a stroke option here. So let's just adjust this stroke colour so it's currently set to white. Uh, we can just bring all these sliders down, you know, so we make a nice black colour. Press OK there. Uh, we can also increase the size of the stroke. So, you know, if we whack this right up, you know, that's probably a little overkill. However, we do have this option here outside only. So that'll basically uh, reduce some of that kind of, you know, really thick blackness going on around the subtitles. So if we just give that a click. We've just got these nice uh, subtitles with this, you know, this uh, stroke around that's not kind of overkill. So, you know, they're looking pretty good so far. Um, what I am going to do as well, we also have the size option up here. So, you know, at the minute, these might be uh, a little big for our portrait edit. Uh, so again, you know, we can just kind of uh, resize this. So let's say if I bring it down to about 35, you know, we're still getting the subtitle in there. 
uh, but they're not going too crazy you know they're, they're not kind of taking over the video they're, they're big enough to see clear enough to see that's kind of what we want so you know we have got all kinds of different options in this uh, top area for our our subtitles um we've got some position options here just under the transform section so as we can see at the minute our subtitles are you know kind of down low here if, if we want these a little bit more central then we can just use the position control so we've got the y position here you know and as we can see in our viewer the subtitle will reposition to wherever we want uh, so you know it's all nice and easy though you know we really do have a wide range of customization options for our subtitles you know we can add a drop shadow if we just turn this option on uh, we can kind of adjust as we zoom in we can see this kind of slight shadows appeared behind our subtitles so you know feel free to kind of play around with these settings to get the subtitles exactly how you want uh, and as i've said um the track option it has applied this you know to the, uh, the the subtitles throughout the whole video so it's all nice and automated all nice and easy uh, for us to do so um what you might want to do as well so we can see uh, there's a couple of gaps here and it's not the end of the world i suppose if we have a couple of gaps within our subtitles um, but if you just want the subtitles to be uh, more flowing throughout constantly we can just always drag these kind of boxes so basically that we get no gaps at all within our video you know it's all all nicely customizable so we can kind of just zoom in so i'm just using the option and the scroller here to zoom in and out uh, you know we can pull these nice and close up to one another uh, just so we're not getting any of these gaps as well so DaVinci really does make it quite easy uh, and as I say automated when it comes to adding subtitles to our content so we can just kind of go through those you know fill fill these gaps um, and to be honest that's pretty much all you need to know so you know if we play that uh, I've just got it muted at the minute but you know we can see our subtitles are kind of playing along with our synced audio so it's all nice nice and easy nice and automated that's what we want when we're creating content so let's say we've got everything in place now we've got our final edit our subtitles are in um, we have got a couple of different options uh, when it comes to i suppose exporting so let's say you might not want the subtitles kind of burned into your video you might want to export them as a separate file uh, where you then upload them into youtube so if you want to do that what we can do we can just give the subtitle track here a right click uh, and we have the export subtitle option here so if we just give that a click It'll be a subtitle file, which is a .srt, uh, the, the format you want if you're uploading to YouTube. Uh, you know, you can name that whatever. Um, let's just go with subtitle track. So that's that. And if we look into our downloads, the SRT file has saved there. So when it comes to uploading into YouTube, we can just literally take that file and, you know, upload it there. So nice and easy. However, if we do want the subtitles kind of burned into the video itself, like we do see on a lot of portrait content, we can basically just do our normal export. So what I'm going to do is we just go to the deliver page at the bottom here, give that a click. Uh, then we'll want to be on the custom export option just here so if we scroll down of course we've got all kind of settings you know for our video itself we can adjust here uh, but at the bottom we've got this subtitle settings so if we just give that a click um, and what we'll want to do we'll just want to tick the export subtitle box here then again we've got a few more formats so we can do it as a separate file which i kind of just went through just a, a different way of doing it as embedded captions i think that works in a, in a similar way to a separate file but to be honest i don't really use uh, that option Oh, we've got this uh, option here burn into video so if we give that a click basically when we add our final creation to the render queue and render it out the subtitles on screen will uh, do as it says on the tin basically these will be burned into our final creation so that's pretty much everything there you need to know when it comes to exporting subtitles do bear in mind that this option is only available with the DaVinci Resolve Studio version, so the paid version, I suppose. Um, it's worth getting, you know, the DaVinci Resolve Studio. I think you can get it for around a one-off payment of, I think, about $300. Um, but it comes with some incredible features, including the subtitle feature. So it is worth getting the studio version, uh, in my opinion. Now, if you're looking for extra animations to spice up your video content, then why not check out Videos? Videos is the online video creator that allows anyone to create stunning animations and also full marketing videos within a matter of clicks. 
You can try videos completely free just by following the link either in the description box or pinned comment down below. I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any questions please do feel free to leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to assist. Thanks very much for watching, smash that like button and as always, happy creating.